Sally Scudamore, all the way from England. How are you going? I'm fine. How are you? We're so excited to have you uh, connected with us to talk about your incredible book, The Little Queenslander Alphabet, that I have here. So have you actually seen the book yourself? No, I haven't. Um, I'm waiting on some copies to arrive. I've seen um, some have arrived to my family in Gundawindi. So I've seen my nieces and nephews reading it, but I haven't seen it in the flesh yet. I can't wait. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, so you've based the alphabet on towns and places in Queensland, which I love. So you've got crocodiles uh, camping in cans and dingoes dancing in the Dane Tree. But I hear... There was no X. There was no town with an X. Oh yeah. So can you I mean, t- tell this... us a little bit about that? <laughs> that that X really had had me stumped. So, and it wasn't just that I couldn't find a town in Queensland that starts with X. It was finding an animal that started with X that could authentically be found in a town starting with X doing an action that started with X that would be possible for a small child to relate to. So, yeah, that that was this. And honestly, Beck, if you can think of a town that starts with X in Queensland, I think I'll be heartbroken that, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that I couldn't come up with it. But I loved it, the solution, the extinct animals X-raying in Oxley. Well, there we go. Well done. you got three X's yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah, well, I, was, I was quite proud of it in the end. But um, it, it, was, it was a good week of research trying to find something uh, but uh, that's where it landed. So, yeah. Can you talk us through the inspiration behind this book? Probably need to give uh, the credit to my little Queensland nieces, Annabelle and Phoebe, who um, were sort of integral in this project. So I was home in Queensland in December and um, I spent a week with Annabelle and Phoebe and we sort of started talking about different ideas and and the alphabet book is what we came up with. And I guess for us it um, it was something that, allowed for lots of um, brainstorming around the different animals, different uh, plants and flowers, different places. And we just had a lot of fun with it. We never imagined it would turn into to anything. Now, you use a lot of clever literary devices in, in the book, lots of play and rhymes and phonetics. Can you tell us a little bit about that aspect of the book? The main thing was the alliteration, which is kind of using a sequence of um, words that start with the same sound or letter which was quite easy to do with the the format of the alphabet but we also um, wanted to have it you know the sentence structure to be quite repetitive so in in each for each letter there's an animal doing something in a town and I guess the um, the the, what was important for me was the tone of the book to be you know we wanted it to be geographically and scientifically accurate and representative of Queensland but we also wanted it to be fun and light and something that kids could engage with so we the choice of um, action words was you know trying to find things that were a little bit strange a little bit quirky um, and that the illustrations which Sophie did an absolutely beautiful job of would be able to um, really capture some humor and stimulate um Uh, a little bit more conversation because you know when you're reading with children it's not just about reading the words on the page it's about talking about the pictures exploring the humor kind of using the um using their imagination and um trying to draw as much as you can out of that experience yeah well the the book truly does that it's so playful and the illustrations are beautiful and it's so great to go on that journey through Queensland But also you are a speech pathologist. How crucial is it for early childhood development to be reading at a young age? Oh, it's so important. And I mean, I think um, for so many different reasons, and I think it, you know, right from the beginning, um, there are things that, um, you know, babies get out of looking at books and, um, you know, concentration, concentration, learning to listen, you having that time and engagement with their parents it's a really relaxing experience um and then as they you know they move on they get something different out of books and stories they learn um you know the um ha- how sounds and letters correlate how words come together to form meanings how ideas come together it's it's really important for early literacy development but also i think um kind of social development and learning to explore their imaginations and mm-hmm. um you know, there's lots of concepts that are explored through reading and books. And it's, it's just so important for so many different parts of um, children's development. And I think not, you know, 
most of all, I think what I observe, not so much as a speech pathologist, but even just as a, um, you know, an aunt to my nieces and nephew is they just love it. They love that time with an adult that's really focused on them and, and um, uh, yeah, you, you see how much they get back from it and I think it's got to be good for them. Yeah. And with this series, there's an added layer of if you're from Queensland, you, your identity is developing as you explore the book and the places yeah. of Queensland. And the whole series uh, is based on and that concept. What does it mean to you to be part of this series? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, I think um, uh, for me personally, it 2020 has been a very interesting year, and I've been, you know, I've really felt the distance from Queensland, from my home, the you know the. Um, the people and the places um, that are really familiar with it to me. So to be a part of this project at that time, it just kept me so connected to Queensland. And, you know, I kind of went on a bit of, bit of a virtual tour all around Queensland in doing the research for the book. It was, it, it was so important for me. And I think it's, it's given me a memory that I'll have, you know, that connects me to my nieces that I, sh I can't even explain how important it is. It's, I'm so grateful to have, um, to have had this opportunity and to have such a beautiful book at the end of it. Um, yeah, really yeah. special. Well, congratulations. Absolutely gorgeous. And we hope that you can join us back here in Queensland and you can be frolicking on those fabulous beaches yeah. with your family again soon. And, um, yeah, I hope you get to be back here soon. So thanks, Sally. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you.